Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachachakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutations, as always, to the elect. And I wanted to get into the topic of the new song, all right, which um, when you get the book of uh, Revelation, the 14th chapter, okay, it speaks of the Lamb and the 144,000, all right? Now, we understand and believe through faith that some of those very men who are a part of the 144,000 are here on the earth at this present moment, all right, teaching his word and sincerity and truth, all right? And that's the tabernacle of David, okay? Now, when you read Revelation, the 14th chapter, okay, the new song is what's going to lead to the victory. All right. So in a nutshell, the leaders of the nation of Israel will be singing the new song. All right. Which is a particular doctrine. OK. Which ultimately would be put in the mouths of the prophets via the most high God, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. All right. So when you read Revelation, the 14th chapter, it speaks about a new song being given unto the 144,000. All right, which as you read in verse three, it says, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song, but the 140 and 4,000, which were redeemed from the earth. And ultimately, this is the truth. The Holy Spirit, Rahakwadash, which is sent from on high. It comes from the heavens. All right. But on the earth, it's put into the minds and mouths of the prophets to go out and preach these things. And no man could learn that song, save the 140 and 4,000. All right. Now, again, when you read this chapter, okay, it goes into exactly what the new song is. All right. And how in their mouth will be found no gal and they're without fault because they're covered under the blood of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai and ordained, to preach this message okay so when you ask or when you wonder who are the leaders of the nation of israel and ultimately who are the leadership all right we should be looking to the leadership of the nation of israel should be singing the new song all right which according to prophecy the new song all right should be sung all right at this present moment it's not getting ready to be sung all right. It doesn't need to be remixed. The new song would be sung in the latter days, which that song that is in the mouth of the prophets would usher in the end of this current age. All right. And it's all through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. OK, now, when you read Revelation 14 and six, it says, and I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth. All right. Now, we know. All right. There's not angels literally uh, in, a, in a sense of the heavenly angels on the earth preaching to people. OK, the angels through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Work on the minds of the elect. OK, to speak and say particular things in the earth. All right. And in this chapter, it's speaking of the new song. So I saw an angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to them that dwell on the earth. Now, when you read uh, the scriptures. OK, it tells you, and uh, I believe it's um, Matthew 24. OK. Matthew 24 and 14 says in this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the world for all for uh, for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come so the end would come okay through the gospel being preached and that's the importance of the prophets which are fulfilled in the 144,000 all right now a lot of people wonder you know well why don't we see 144,000 preachers well that's not how it works you're not going to see it with the physical eye it's something that you have to ultimately have faith in and we have to take into account that when you read in this chapter okay uh in verse uh 
Let's see here. Verse 13, it says, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. So some of the 144 could be in the spiritual realm. All right. And will be raised up when Yahweh Shai returns. And some of them, all right, are here on the earth and some will die. OK, for this testimony, according to Revelation, the 20th chapter. OK, now, again, the new song. All right. The gospel. The everlasting gospel will be preached to them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and people and tongue. This word was spread throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. Now, here's the new song saying with a loud voice, fear the most high and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment has come. So the leadership of the nation of Israel, all right, are going to have a specific message. It's going to be centered around fearing, all right, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and giving glory, all right, to those names, okay? Which the system that's in place in earth takes away glory from those names. It gives glory to idols, okay? Why? Why are we telling our people to fear the Lord? Because his judgment has come. Okay, judgment is getting ready to happen on the planet Earth. Judgment is already here. So this is a part of the message of the leadership of the nation of Israel. Okay, and worship him that made heaven and earth and sea and fountains and waters. Did, did, did Allah do that? Okay, or did the Most High God, Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai and the Holy Angels do that? Okay, so the true leadership will be preaching this message. Okay? Farrakhan ain't preaching this message. Now here and there, he'll he'll take particular points of the new song and throw them out there, but then he'll go back and hide them. Okay, the new song will be sung constantly and it will lead to a victory over the beast, over his image, over his mark. Okay? All right? And that testimony will be given unto those men under the blood of Yahweh Shai. So the accusations and whatever you devils do, it won't have any bearing. OK, so we know, according to the book of Colossians, the first chapter it was Yahweh Shai. All right. With the blueprint of the most high God, Yahweh, that created the heavens, the earth and everything else. And we know the holy angels helped him when you go line up online, precept upon precept. OK, in the beginning, the Allah created the, the heavens and the earth. OK. So when you go to the next verse, it says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine and the wrath of her fornication. OK, and this is a big part of our message. And this is what this new song would lead to Babylon actually falling. OK, now you, you, you have particular men here like Farrakhan here and there. He'll 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 throw it out there. Babylon will burn. Right. But he's not calling on the name of Yahweh. He's not calling on the name of Yahweh Shai. He's not telling you to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's pretty much following a false religion. So he doesn't qualify to be a leader. Again, he could be the leader of black people. But who's the leader of the nation of Israel is Yahweh Shai and the 144,000, which ultimately those are the leaders of the world. OK, and they will be singing a new song. And the third angel followed them with a loud voice saying, if any man worship the beast, in his image or receive his mark in his, his his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture. So again, the new song, okay, being sung is the prophet's warning of destruction, okay, <laughs> telling our people to fear the Lord, okay, Yahweh Bashim Shai, telling our, teaching the tribes who they are, according to Ezekiel the 37th chapter, with the 12 tribes chart, that's all in there. OK. And if you worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, you're going to be destroyed. That's the new song. OK, that's the song that the leadership all right, are going to be singing. OK. And that, as you read this chapter, that leads to the end. Now, let's get the book of Psalms 40 real quick. Let's get the book of Psalms, the 40th chapter. In the uh goodness gracious. In the second verse it says, He brought me up out of the horrible pit 
This is the <laughs> that horrible pit. Out of the miry clay, okay, Daniel, the second chapter tells you this beast system will be miry clay, part iron. It says, and set my feet up on a rock, he have established my goings, okay? And, you know, our people who are in all of these different philosophies, including Islam, they're stuck in that miry clay, okay? You, you, you can't freely walk and move about when you're stuck in miry clay. You got to... It's, 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 no, but the Lord has put us upon a rock to where we can smoothly travel through the Holy Spirit. And that rock is Yahweh Shai. Okay? And Yahweh Shai said he's going to establish his church on a rock, which is Peter, King David. Okay? Because the tabernacle of David is ultimately the set thrones of judgment that are going to rule this world. And the gates of hell ain't going to prevail against that. So that's what our people should be getting down with. OK, not this world friendly doctrine. OK, and he put and he have put a new song in my mouth. All right. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it in fear and shall trust in Yahweh. So it is through the new song that our people. All right. And the new song is sung by the leadership. OK, it's the new song being sung that are going to lead our people to what? Trusting and fearing in Yahweh Bashim Shai. And that's what the, the that's the goal, that the elect be sealed. All right. Uh, 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 by the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and the true doctrine. OK, because the scriptures tell you that there is a doctrine that's going to lead to salvation. OK, first Timothy or second Timothy's. The fourth chapter. Okay, that ain't, that ain't work. Let's go to 2 Timothy 4 and 16. I believe that's where it's at. Nope. Oh my goodness, that's, just, that's the wrong damn one. Nope. Take heed to the doctrine. 1 Timothy 4. 1 Timothy 4 and 16, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So for any Israelite who was speaking this, you know, it don't matter what doctrine you teach. Okay, you got people mocking the chariots, mocking the name, doing all manner of evil. All right. And you got Israelite leaders giving them Godspeed speed at the time of severe judgment, getting ready to be played out in the earth. So there's a particular doctrine, okay, uh, the, the book of Acts calls it the Apostles' Doctrine, all right, that would need to be taken heeded to, all right, and in doing that, you shall save thyself, those who teach it, and them that hear thee, which ultimately is fulfilled in the new song, the everlasting gospel, okay? So the Lord have put a new song in my mouth, many shall see it. All right, which is praise to our God. Many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the name of Yahweh. Okay, that's the leadership. That's what the leadership will be doing. Okay, let's just type in new song as I did earlier. <sighs> Psalms 33 and 3. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. Cry aloud, spare not. As you're crying aloud and sparing not, OK, uh, a lot of you Israelites think that you're just supposed to be yelling and loud. No, you're supposed to be yelling loud, playing skillfully. All right. With that loud noise, you're not just yelling and screaming and chanting military chants. And Esau is a fucking fool. I know you and you know who the Lord didn't command us to do that. We're supposed to play skillfully. With the loud noise, breaking down these scriptures, going into these prophecies. Singing the new song skillfully. Okay, you can't just yell out what you want to yell out. No, it, the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. <laughs> okay, the prophecies, the severity of what's getting ready to go down in the earth, who the devil is, who the tribes are. Okay, who, 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 the true creator of, of the heavens and the earth. Psalms 96 and 1. Oh, sing unto Yahweh a new song. Sing unto Yahweh all the earth. 
Okay, and at some point, the whole earth is going to be subject to righteousness through this new song being sung right now. Okay, Psalms 98 and 1. Oh, sing unto Yahweh a new song, for he have done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him the victory. So the victory, all right, comes through Yahweh Shai, but before that, that the, the Lord sends his only begotten son back, the prophets are going to be here on the planet earth doing something, saying something, speaking something, which is going to lead to the remnant being gathered, okay, and we getting the hell up out of here, okay? We're like heralds of Yahweh Bashim Shai, going out, telling you he's coming, then he comes. That's the duty of a prophet. So the new song would be sung by the leadership. Those are the only leaders that any Israelite should be telling our people about. Those who, who, who are singing the correct doctrine in a new song. Okay? Psalms 144.9 I will sing a new song unto thee, O God, upon the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. Okay? And back in the ancient world, the prophets literally used to go out and the priest will be, you know, uh, uh, playing the uh, harp and different instruments associated with the preaching. Okay? <laughs> now, okay, all of that is fulfilled in us teaching the gospel, playing skillfully with a loud noise, crying aloud and sparing not the truth of the Bible in a world that is God forsaken. Okay, Psalms 149 and 1, praise ye Yahweh, sing unto Yahweh a new song and his praise in the congregation of the saints. And Farrakhan ain't singing a new song and a lot of you Israelite leaders ain't singing a new song. You're singing a song that glorifies yourself, your group. Okay, because when it's all said and done, ain't going to be no groups. It's just going to be the elect. Okay, but we believe through faith that the apostles and elders of Great Millstone or the men that the Heavenly Father set up, okay, in these latter days for this word to go out in the gathering of the saints, which it's happening. And now other leaders have been raised up. And other leaders, all right, and it's unstoppable. And the Heavenly Father, okay, is getting ready to take this place down, okay? Isaiah 42 and 10, sing unto Yahweh a new song, in his praise from the ends of the earth, ye that go down to the sea and all that therein, the owls and the habitations thereof. Okay? And when Yahweh Shai opened the seals here in Revelation, the fifth chapter, okay? When he went back on high, he went back on high to loose the seals so that the elect can have this testimony, man. Okay? This is, uh, Yep, he took the book. We got breakdowns on this chapter, but I'll just jump to the point. And they sung a new song. When Yahweh Shai loosed the seals, they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou was slain. Okay? He was slain. The blood was shed. All right? He, he, he was buried. He conquered death. Okay? He, he broke bread with brothers and sisters 40 days and 40 nights. And he eventually ascended back on high to his position, his original position, which is on the right-hand side. He just had to come down onto the earth and, and, and be obedient, okay? Because as Adam and Solomon, he failed. As Yahweh Shah, he was obedient all the way to death. You see that? And through that obedience and through that blood, now <laughs> we can be redeemed back to the Heavenly Father, all right, out of all kindreds, nations, okay? And people, because Israel is scattered throughout all of these different nations. As it was told to Abraham, his seed will be scattered east, west, north, south. And in the seed that would eventually come, Yahweh Shai, all of the, these nations will be blessed. Okay? So that's the new song. Okay? Fulfillment of biblical prophecy, the truth of the Bible. Okay? The, the, the telling our people to fear the Lord, warning these nations judgment is coming as well. OK, and, and that particular song being sung would lead to the end. So the leaders of our people. OK. Uh, as Yahweh Shai. 
As a matter of fact, let's get the book of uh, Jeremiah 3. Jeremiah 3 and 15. If it loads. All right. It says. And I will give you pastors according to my mind or heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. OK. And that message that they had. OK. Which it's here in the earth. Now, if you don't believe this is the message. Cool. All right. But you should really be telling me where the hell it is. OK. Because <laughs> it got to be somewhere in order for this to be the end. The new song got to be here and the new song will be sung before the end came. All right. So I just wanted to touch on that. The true leadership of the nation of Israel are singing a new song, man. Shalom.